don't need is the everything will be okay line, you know, like I'm not going to try and pretend that, that it's, it's easy to deal with. That's not easy to deal with. It's very difficult and it can be deadly, really seriously difficult at times. But the fact is it's, it is dealable with. It is manageable. Uh, not alone though. It's not something you, you, you should ever try to manage alone. You need support. And if you're not getting support off loved ones, you need to, you need to, if it's your GP, it's somebody you have to reach out because it's, the idea of talking isn't like talking makes it go away. It just, it does a couple of things that allows you to realise it's completely normal. And a lot of people are dealing with this, even though you feel it's unbelievably unique to you and no one else could understand. Everybody, a lot of people understand, and really what, do. And what about to a loved one or a friend who's, someone who's watching someone who might be in trouble and doesn't know what to do? Well, I can tell you a couple of things not to do. Uh, don't throw perspective in their face. Don't tell, talk about the starving kids in Africa. Don't talk about why do you have a reason to be that way. Don't talk about snapping out of it. Don't say any of those things. That's not what you need because what that does is it just gets that big horrible emotion, guilt, and it throws it into the equation because the people dealing with it know full well that they probably shouldn't have to be doing that, feeling this way. So that's what not to do. But another thing to do is to be, if you don't fully understand it, educate yourself. Educate yourself, read about it. You know, read people's stories. Don't get frustrated. Don't get angry. Um, <clears throat> so I'll give you a, a kind of example because I think that's the best way to describe it. Rather than going, like in a case of say when my mother started realizing what I was dealing with, instead of maybe going, now would you just you know, you gotta you know come downstairs and she would go if you need anything, just drop me a text and I'll drop it up to you. The difference of that language opposed to being what's wrong, why are you like this. That alone is a huge crutch and support. So, those things don't try and think you can you can you can you know basically fix everything. You can't. It's up to the person themselves. You just got to create the environment that makes it easy for them to, to seek that kind of help. And that's really that that social peer-to-peer -peer support is critical to to seeking recovery in any type of mental health illness.